First of all, I want to say to all my faithful subscribers and followers on Kendrick News and Entertainment, I will give you facts and I will also continuously give you a link in my description because I do not like to cap. I don't like when people spread rumors, lies. I, I need facts. So, so many people um, get it misconstrued when it comes to facts. So I always try to give a link for people. You can do your own research. I'll lead you there. Now, we know everybody's been waiting for this next gen. And if you watched any of my previous videos, I told you guys next gen was a completely new game uh, for NBA 2K21. And guess what? Today they released the trailer and the link for that is in the description and you can watch it for yourself. I don't own the rights, but I can show you pictures and we can talk a little bit about it and you're looking right at it. This game look great in the words of Tony the Tiger. Now, according to GameSpot, and I know everybody know where GameSpot is and you probably have bought something from GameSpot. NBA 2K21 next gen trailer and screen shows are balling on PS5 and the Xbox Series X. So what you're seeing in this trailer is next gen. It's not current gen and it's mind blowing how real it looks. Yeah, buddy. I mean, it looks so good until I'm sold on buying the next gen all because of NBA 2K21. Yeah. So let's get right to it. We got our first look at NBA 2K21 on the PS5 and Series X. The first trailer showing off the visuals and environmental improvements introduced for the next gen version, including updated player models, various new court details. The trailer captured on the PS5 shows of both of these improvements before and during a game. Now, we just saw a little snippet of the PS5 version. This is more much more intensive offering some gameplay segments in a game between the Mavericks and the Warriors. One of the standout elements aside from the impressive life-like look of the individual players is how crowded the court and crowd appear, particularly during the pre-game segment that said the frame rate is somewhat unstable. Though it's unclear if that's representative of the game or not. Look at this. I had to play regular gen 2K and pause it, and you should do the same on your replays. And look at this, this is way better. I, I would have to say this is like, in my opinion, this is like at least 70% better looking than current gen. The sweat, the details, the frowns, uh, of course it, it will look better, it's more powerful, right? So, like I said, click on the link in the description, you could see this actual trail, look at Curry. My goodness, you can see the aging in him, uh, in his eyes from, you know, we remember seeing Kerry as a young boy. They actually got real life scans of these people. As you can tell, that looks dead ass on Kerry, even his incomplete beard. Now, in the next gen version, every single person or on screen in the lower court would have their own AI routines, including the audience. In the footage, the movements of everyone in the arena, not just the players, look extremely natural. And I saw that when they were showing uh, Luca dribbling the ball. It was his life like dribble movements. And it was truly amazing. Improved lighting models, animations, and physics will also make for more realistic basketball experience. Now, 2K and developer visual concepts is promising a rebuilt player movement system with new encore animations and collision engines, as well as a greatly expanded soundtrack featuring 202 tracks, 202 tracks, sorry. This trailer is the first of several drops of information about the next gen version of NBA 2K21 in the lead up to release, 2K has promised. So more information about the different modes in this version will be available soon. Take a look, people. Take a look at how greatly improved the graphics are. Look at current gen on the left. This is Zion Williamson compared to on the right is completely night and day and i can't stress it enough um this would truly be something um for everyone to love and absolutely probably the best 2k we have seen ever like it's, it's just <laughs> amazing how it looks now 
It will be available on the PS5 and Series X at launch. However, it won't be a free update for owners of the PS4 and Xbox One version by default, only if you bought the more expensive Mamba Forever Edition. So the base game costs $70 on next gen. And people, I'm telling you right now, um, this game looks absolutely unreal. But if you want to see the entire trailer, click on the link in the description. Like this video, leave your comment, share this on Instagram, YouTube, as well as Facebook. More importantly, subscribe.